So we made the best vegan burgers, but they have an ingredient in them that I hate, mushrooms. So these burgers have portobello mushrooms, beets, walnuts, onion, spices. I'll link the recipe in the description. And it is a lot of work to make it, but it's worth it. Um, and I said it's worth it and I hate mushrooms. So I wanna show you um, we made these last night and I ate half last night and it was so filling that I'm going to have my other half today. So you see this? That's a big hunk of onion that I could have cut up better, but we'll pretend that you didn't see that. So anyway, um, this recipe, you have to shred the mushrooms and then you cook them and then you squeeze out all the liquid and then you shred the beets and you cook those and then you cook, you chop the onion and you cook those down and then you chop the walnuts and then you mix all that up with your spices and we cooked it out on the Blackstone. So, so good. Like it, I guess cooking it and then squeezing out all of that juice, it took all the nasty mushroom -ness away and made it edible for me. So if you hate mushrooms, this might be a good thing for you. Who knows? So anyway, um, that is my Easter tree. Well, I guess it's a spring tree now you've seen the background. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know that I did serve it with a uh, homemade sriracha sauce and pepper jack cheese. So I guess it wasn't vegan after that. You could use cashew cheese. Uh, brioche bun. You could, of course, use a gluten-free bun or you could uh, use a lettuce wrap. And I did use some crispy onion straws for some added crunch on top, but I will link the recipe. Again, this would be a great burger to try. There's zero mushroom taste to it. If you like mushrooms, you can always add fresh mushrooms to it, but it's safe for people like us. You, you know you're out there. There's somebody like me that doesn't like mushrooms. That's all. So I want to say bye.